Welcome back, Battle Brothers and Sisters, to the continuing adventures of the Slayers, our poacher origin story, as we look for treasure, loot, adventure, excitement, all that good stuff. Uh, it's been actually a couple days since I've played, and uh, it's kind of funny how quickly you can kind of, when you save it, you think you have a plan in mind. When you come back after a few days, you're like, where was I going? I don't have a contract. I don't. Was I going up, down? I think I was coming down south. But I don't know if I was trying to come to Copigan for contracts. Or maybe to come out through here. I'd prefer not to go explore. I, I kind of want to go looking for more just ruins to explore. Um, and I typically don't like to... I don't know, I just don't like fighting the uh, southerners until I'm higher level usually. Uh, so I'm thinking I may come to Copigan, either sell or buy some supplies... And then go on a run, either down here a little bit and then up. Or maybe, actually, probably more likely, I don't know it's here. I may come up north, west, check this out, and then explore through here. Just kind of see what's around and come back up to maybe Torfval or something. Uh, and I've got a few days to wait anyway, because apparently I must have gotten to some kind of scrape. Because uh, Randolph here is a little roughed up. 19 hit points out of 63. And I do have some good loot, some decent armor being worked on, so that's where we'll start. We're going to head down to Copping in here, see uh, see if we can sell some stuff. Mm. There's raiders, so the prices are not great. Uh, and the amount of supplies is limited as well. I've got five days worth. I might pick up a little bit. Oh, man, these tools, even being raided, they're only 198 That's a great price for tools. We've got six days of food. Let's buy another one. Now, you may think, well, now I've only got six days worth for that. I've got some garbage weapons I can sell, make a little bit of money. Uh, all my guys have bows, right? So I can sell this other one. And that's now seven days worth. There might be other stuff. I mean, I don't need all of these shields. I don't need all those mediocre helmets. Now we're still up to seven. Yeah, seven days is probably plenty, realistically. Uh, I'm not going to do a three skull mission. Let's make sure that it looks like all this good gear is being repaired. So, um, we will set off up here. Check this place out. Uh, if it's doable, we may have to rest. I think you heal up a little faster when you're encamped. So... Mm, no, with, especially without a strong standard bearer. Uh, the Geiss are not something I'm interested in tangling with right now. They will literally terrify my people. <laughs> And I don't have a way of rallying them back. Well, I got some footprints here. It looks like beasts heading up this way. Lindworms. I don't think I want to mess with those guys at the moment. It's interesting. Um, some of these beasts are kind of a pain to deal with. Um, shrats for the longest time really bugged me. But they drop some decent loot. You get the wood, you can make... Um, I mean, if you have a bowyer, you can make a nice bow... Uh, you can use the wood they drop to make some great heater-type shields. So they've got good loot. And Shrats... A Hexa, a few unholds. Mm. Um, what was I just going to say? I was talking about... I got distracted by Hexa. Oh, I was talking about Beasts. Shrats aren't so bad once you just amass a bunch of axes. Many orc berserkers. It's interesting. <clears throat> if it was some orc berserkers, I would probably be pretty confident in taking them on. I've got a lot of archers, which are really the kind of the bane of orcs. Um, many, though. What is that? Uh, like seven to nine or something. I don't know if I'm going to fight seven to nine orc berserkers. If it was some four to six, I think I could probably 
uh, give them a good run for their money. I think many orc young. How hurt is this guy? He's doing better. Many orc young actually might be something reasonable for us to tangle with. Um, let's see. Orc young actually have negative defense. Uh, but I think we may go swords. Even this guy. It's a little dangerous. Um, it's a little dangerous because we don't have a, you know, our, our, our archers back here are a little bit exposed. Uh, but he can switch to sword and shield if needed. And actually, let's take a look. We can arm up equip up some of our people. He's actually pretty decently armored now in the end. How about this guy? He's a light fighter, but he doesn't actually have nimble or anything yet. And, well, maybe he does actually. He does have dodge. Uh, but dodge is less important than surviving getting hit in the face. So we'll give him a better helmet. This guy's got very good armor. Uh, you're doing pretty well as well. Uh, back here, he's heavily armored. We can give, who's our best guy, the hunter? We'll give him slightly better armor and... Do I need to give him a helmet? <laughs> I think it's fine to give him a helmet. I mean, it restricts his vision by one. But, I mean, it doesn't matter that much because they're going to be rushing at us anyway. This guy can get a slightly better helmet. This guy's actually a little tricky. Um, the spear does give a bonus to hit. 60 to 80 damage. That does 70 to 95. This long axe does much more raw damage. It doesn't give the bonus to hit, I don't believe. No. Uh, but this guy's hitting at 70. And again, orcs have like negative 5 defense. He's young. So he gets a bonus to hit anyway. So I'm going to go for it. Um, killing these things quickly is kind of important. And that that extra bit of damage is actually pretty significant. Um, I'm tempted to give him a shield as well, actually. If he gets into melee, he can switch out to that. And actually, do we have any more nets? We do not. Um, but I may be willing to pull nets out. Now, I think the orc young, while they can charge forward and stun people when they hit them, I don't think they can push people out of the way and bully their way in. So our guys in the middle here are at least relatively safe. It's more just the guys in the ends. And I was considering axes. They almost, well, 30 to 45, 35 to 45. They almost do as much as the falchions, the lower tier swords. Uh, but And they would do much more damage to the armor. But the orcs aren't going to have that much armor on them. All right. Let's, let me check one more thing. Extra arrows. Extra arrows. He's got axes. Which, um, again, the axes do get a bonus to hit up close. And they do extra damage to armor. But I'm not worried about armor. And since the orcs are easy to hit anyway, and this, this bow does 30 to 50, and the axes do 25 to 40. Yeah, so we'll stick with the bow. Many. Many's kind of painful, but it's many orc young are much better than many uh, orc berserkers. <clears throat> now, what do you want to target? Typically, you want to target and focus fire on any orcs with axes first and foremost, which I don't see so far, although there's still two orcs that haven't shown up yet. Uh, and then the second thing you want to look for, actually, I think more important than the swords, are these cleavers. I mean, the cleavers do a lot of damage if they hit, and the bleed is always a problem. It's nice. These guys don't have any armor, so realistically, I mean, hitting them, I can do a lot of damage up front. Unless I hit him in the head, but I have a helmet. We'll step back a little bit. There we go. Got a wound on him. Eh, you know, two out of three. Not bad. There is one with an axe, but it's a, a stupid little hatchet, so it's not that bad. We do want a shield wall. 
Uh, I'm not 100% sure, as I say with many things in this game, which, I don't know. For someone who talks about trying to make a guide and helping people out, you'd think I'd be an expert on this. But I think when to stun you, when they do their charge, they have to hit you. And uh, if you shield wall and they don't hit you a lot of times, it seems that, that you don't get stunned. And that's kind of important. Like that. It doesn't always work, but it seems to help sometimes. Uh, well, okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, what are we going to do? Uh, aside from stand here and waste a turn with three of my dudes. Uh, that guy has an axe, but it's a crappy one, and he's got a shield. I think this guy is going to shoot an arrow, step back, and we'll let the axe come up and hit that guy. Should do a lot of damage, doesn't have a shield to protect him. And then these guys might focus fire on him. Actually, he won't move. He'll just shoot that guy twice, which means this guy will finish off him if he's still alive, probably, or maybe that guy. So um, you're going to take one shot here. You might as well take an aimed one, even though it takes a lot more fatigue. Doesn't do a lot of damage, but it's something. 75. Didn't do a lot of damage because the guy still had armor, but it did completely destroy his armor. Um, go here. Good. That was a good hit. Took one out, and we'll aim at this guy. Dangerous weapon. No shield and no armor. Excellent. And you might as well get to work on him. Ow. Ow. Bleeding, which I said before is a problem. Um, so... That guy's actually a bit of a problem. Swords. Or uh, I was going to say... Oh, yeah, this, this guy has a sword. Swords don't do great damage against armor. This axe will do a lot better damage in one swing. Take that guy's armor out, hopefully. And then these swords will be much more effective at chopping him up. I'm a little worried this guy might kill Randolph here. Uh, but there's not much to be done about it. Jeez. He's bleeding like a mofo. Uh, yeah, I guess we have to wait. Arming swords are very powerful. He's going to wait as well. Again, we would just hit that guy with a uh, axe first, ideally. That's a good hit. And that's what I was afraid of. Do, 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 do. Um, yeah, you might as well swing at him. This guy's got quite a morale boost out of that. It's going to be short-lived, though, as we gun them down, hopefully. Uh, I guess you'll hit him. Or, I guess you'll hit that guy. Ow. Ow, ow. Alright. That was a good hit. He's not happy about that. Um, what's he at? 24% chance to hit. 21% chance to hit. Um, we'll step down, take a shot at that guy. Step away. Um, this guy's almost dead. Maybe we'll finish him off for lucky. Or we'll fail. That's always a possibility as well. Um, I'm not sure. Okay. I'm not sure if these guys will get to go first or this guy will go first. Uh, I don't want him getting hit with any more javelins. So, uh, in the interest of preservation, we'll step behind cover here. Yeah, I was afraid they might get to go first. You assholes. Alright, well. Can't catch a break. Um, we'll wait with you. You are in good shape. You can run this guy down. Can we please finish this guy? That'll work. You can step there and get engaged to him. Help out over here. There we go. It's a little risky. I didn't probably didn't have to move him in there, but uh, you got quick hands. You might as well switch to a better melee weapon and take that guy out. Well, we lost Randolph. I think he was the guy who came into combat injured. He was a yeah, decent for a cultist, but not a long-term incredible find. Got some decent weapons out of it, and as you saw, quite a few people leveled up, which is always nice. 
I'm really intrigued. I don't normally fight Hexa. That's what I was kind of talking about. Shrats. After you get a bunch of axes and you're you kind of know what you're doing, your guys have good armor and decent defense, Shrats aren't too bad. Hexen, I have fought very little, and uh, the Lindworms as well. They're a little more dangerous, a little tricky, and uh, once you get tactics and the right equipment, potentially not too hard. I've just never put the time and effort into it. <laughs> uh, regardless, two unholds by themselves would be something we could tackle, but my guys are not fully prepared for. Uh, let's take a look. What do we got here? My light dude. Uh, that's good. He's going to need a little bit more morale anyway. Might as well give it to him now. And I guess we'll give him that. Uh, our light dude. What is he going to actually do? That's actually a good question, too. I assume he's just going to have a weapon and a shield. And he's not going to be a polearm guy. He's going to be up here as a duelist. But not with the duelist perk, because I wouldn't have a shield. Because I don't like running around without shields. Does that make sense? Probably not. Uh, this guy is a straight up dude. Dude. Um, you know, he's going to need a little bit of resolve anyway. I'm going to keep pumping up all that stuff. Uh, do I give him... You know, I, I can't afford the super heavy armor. And he's already carrying pretty much the heaviest stuff I'm going to have for a while without any difficulty. I mean, he's got 95 fatigue still. So I'm not, I can give a pass to Brawny for now. Instead, I think I will give him Rotate so he can maybe rescue people like that guy if they get in trouble in the future. My archers all leveled up, which is great. Bonus to ranged. <sighs> Probably should get the bonus to range defense and fatigue while we're here uh, um we'll go with probably executioner the cross well when i get a crossbow <laughs> it'll already do crippling strikes pretty easily or um, cause injuries so let's do some more damage this is my archer He's already got 21 range defense, which is pretty good. He needs a little bit more resolve. And got a four roll, so we might as well take it while we're here. And let's go with more fatigue. It doesn't tire too quickly. Uh, he could actually probably use crippling strikes a bit more, as his weapon does not do uh, damage to armor very well. I mean, ultimately, they're going to have... These guys will pretty much all have the same build. A uh, duel with a primary ranged weapon and then thrown weapons and crippling strikes and executioner will really fe fuel the uh, damage from the thrown weapons and this guy good pretty poor rolls over here uh this guy i'm i i'm less inclined to boost this guy on melee def melee attack just because he's not good at it uh, let's give him health and I guess some more resolve. Okay. And you can take Executioner, I guess. Again, ultimately, you're going to have a crossbow and. Alright. So, what is. What are next? We did get some decent gear out of that. These, uh giant cleavers and these well, these giant cleavers are actually not a bad backup weapon for guys with bags and belts in the back like this guy he'll have the cleaver perk anyway so these will put quite a wall up on someone if they push through um and if we want to sell them i mean look at that one it's at 53 percent it's still worth almost 600 gold so it's uh not bad we will continue our expedition Ah, uh, the water mill. Uh, this is a legendary location. There is quite a story arc for that place. 
Actually, I mean, I guess we can go here. Um, what would make me worthy? Resolve it ourselves, blah, blah, blah. We're supposed to find, I believe, that's part of the Kraken mission? I don't, uh, I've never killed the Kraken, actually. What is this? And then you can get a special weapon out of that and a blade and some good stuff. A few orc young, some orc berserkers. Now, that's interesting because I was just saying a minute ago that uh, if it was just some orc berserkers, I might have attacked the other camp. And it's probably a good thing I didn't. <laughs> some orc, some berserkers and a few young? Eh. Uh, I mean, now that I'm down a dude, it may not be quite as feasible, but... Uh, that one's not as completely overpowering as some of these other locations that we'll, we'll stumble across. So I'll try to memorize that one and think about coming back. Which, oh man, those Hexen are eager. Get off me, bro. Um, well, there's some swampage. Ah, speaking of legendary locations, this place is kind of neat. The Unhold Graveyard. You just find a bunch of bones and hides and stuff, which is uh, good. I did want to cut through the forest. No, I don't want to cut through now. I wanted to cut through the forest, but just explore some more of this stuff. But the Hexen are on me, so... It's important to not get caught by those guys. So, unhold pelts. If you looked at my last videos, the snow hot, the furs are great. They make one of the best armor attachments in the game, along with direwolf pelts. The bones can make a pretty useful one as well, that uh, lets your guy ignore the first hit that he gets. Uh, three unholds? Yeah. Again, if you've watched my video on how to fight unholds, uh, you know, once you get to a certain level and your guys have some decent armor and, more importantly, probably defensive stats, they're not too bad. Um, but my guys are not at that time yet. It's kind of interesting, actually. When I saved the game last time, you know, it says what, how many what day you've saved it on. I've only done a few videos. I was shocked at how quickly I had like what day I was on and it's probably because oh man we're kind of stuck out here I said actually we'll go to this bigger town to sell stuff uh, I said I kind of realized oh I'm avoiding a lot of fights because I'm not uh, this one well again down to a dude in the front I don't know if I can handle those guys but if I can hire somebody that one's not too bad either since I've got a decent amount of uh, firepower now. What do you guys have? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the perennial problem. Uh, okay, what about selling stuff? Can I make some money by selling some garbage? Uh, I don't need that. I don't need this. I get rid of the <laughs> tree limb. Uh, I can actually, as much as, you know, this would be a decent backup weapon, I'll get those in the future when I can use them. I'm not going to use them for a while. Hand axes are good, but I don't need them at the moment. So, um, you know, decent amount of money. Mm, probably don't need that. Don't need that. Okay. A uh, little backup stuff. That's fine. Um, and looking. They didn't have any decent dudes to hire, which is what I need. These guys, witch hunters are kind of interesting. I've never actually really focused on them. If you want someone ranged, you go with the hunter. Um, witch hunters and beast slayers have kind of elevated melee and range stats. So if you're trying to make a hybrid, they may be a good way to go. Uh, but I've never, I don't normally make hybrids. So I've tried to avoid those guys. <sighs> well, I mean, we just need dudes at this point. What do you have? Well, I mean, okay. 
crap resolve, of course, because he's a friggin' farmer, but uh, great fatigue, good health, uh, I mean, not great melee, but he has a star in at least one in each of the, the top things, melee attack skill, defense skill, and fatigue, so, I mean, he's a dude, but he could actually be a decent dude. Um, let's take, I guess we'll take your stuff, stick it on him, he's a farmer, a big brawny boy, so he can carry all this gear, I mean, he's just starting out, and he can carry that well, of course, if anyone dies, he's gonna panic, but, you know, what are you gonna do? Uh, let's, I guess, come up here. We'll look for contracts. I don't know if I can actually take those guys. Maybe. I don't need that. I don't need a three mission. Um, I could. So, let's take a look. This town, Wool Spinner, I don't know which, if it's the wheat fields that make the bread. I'm just curious if I can buy bread up here and just run down here and sell it for a profit uh it does have wheat fields so probably not what else does this place have uh, very expensive tools and expensive cloth so we may give it a pass and we may come down to here actually i'm maybe a little crazy but i'm thinking I'm thinking Arby's. I mean, I mean, I'm thinking I can. Oh, well, they lost the uh, thugs. Whoa! Actually, got upgraded. Look at that. Before, I think it was a few marksmen, a few uh, thugs, and some raiders. The thugs went away, and now it's some marksmen. Um, which I don't think a little bit of extra firepower actually makes a big difference. And where's the other town? Maybe we need to look for contracts again and just kind of make money the old-fashioned way. Do some of the grind. Um, must be to go find something. Well, I can go find it, and if it's lucky, I'll uh, raid it while I'm there. Sure, we can get paid more even. A long way to the east in the Juniper Hills. Oh, well, I mean, that's the Juniper Hills. This doesn't look that far away. Um, let's, we're going to go all the way east to these mountains so we can see. And if we don't see it, we'll cut down and come back through here. And actually, we might want to buy some food while we're here. 76 isn't going to last us that long. 31 for berries. Holy cow. That's a uh, good price. And they last eight days. We'll grab that. Any good doodles here? Uh, very expensive farmers. <laughs> the mad. Uh, the mad means he probably has the perk that he's crazy or mad or something. Which may, or irrational. So he gets random bonuses or penalties to his resolve checks, morale checks. Uh -huh. Okay, it's always good when someone gets a permanent stat upgrade. I come up here and take a look around. Look at that. I mean, that's a pretty good, pretty good look. And we don't see anything. We will continue down to here, I think. Let's come all the way across. Yeah, he did say a long ways to the east. I thought, you know, we better double check. Many necro savants. Yeah, probably not ready for that fight. But, since we're here anyway, we'll take a quick look around here and see if any other locations are around. Unfortunately, the answer is probably going to be no. Seeing all those caravans go by, I'm tempted to go fight them. Alright, oh. Hams exp- oh, well, I mean, it's still relatively cheap. But this stuff is very cheap. Although it's not, I mean, there's only three of them. I could buy this, run down south and sell it, but I don't think it's going to be worth that much. 
Mm, we got plenty of those. All right, well, I guess we'll come down here and then we'll scoop up here again and look for adventure. Uh, the problem is I think I might be a little behind the power curve based on the days. So I may have a tough time uh, finding fights or locations I can raid. We're going to take two guys. We're going to go freaking crazy here. He's huge. That's not so great for a frontline guy. It just means he's going to get hit more. Look at that. Negative 10 <laughs> range defense. <laughs> he's like an arrow magnet. <laughs> um... But as a wild man, he does have a lot of fatigue, so I can maybe give him a, a heavier shield to give him a bonus, make up for it. <laughs> um, well, how about this dude? Eh, I mean, he's got two stars in resolve. I mean, honestly, it's not enough to make him a full-fledged standard bearer, but uh, I kind of need one. I need somebody to fill that role. So uh, how about... Do you have any armor here I can buy? I mean, we're going a little crazy here, just buying stuff. All right, you get that. You can put that on. You're going to get an actual helmet. You're going to get this heavy-ass shield. Look at that. And you can get rid of your butcher crap. You're going to stand back there, and you'll at least inspire my lamest of fighters. Up to, up to at least forty-one. All right. Well, it's a, a motley crew, but uh, it is a significant upgrade from where it was. I think we've got enough money for three days. That's not so good. We may have to sell a little bit more to. Oh, we can sell that. We can sell that. We can sell this. We can sell that. This. Ba 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 boo. And it's still just three days worth of stuff. Um, where's a town? You know, we've been gone from the north for a while. Maybe they'll uh, accept us back with loving arms. Some steady work. Just what we need. Some barbarians. We can take those guys, right? Some thralls and a few reavers? Fact, let's try to come out here into the swamp. That would be great. Because we're just going to shoot the piss out of them anyway, right? Uh, we've got swords and spears equipped. That should be great for uh, the thralls. Uh, we can probably just stick with the pike on this one. Um, they don't have that much health like the orcs do. And they are a little bit harder to hit. So the bonus to hit will be good. All this stuff looks fine. Let's give it a whirl. The only problem will be if I start in the swamp and they start in dry ground. But I mean, ultimately, what do we have here for reavers? Two-handed weapon, which is dangerous. Uh, but we could actually. If you look here, so standing in the wet ground reduces your melee skill, melee defense, and range defense. My range dudes can fire to full effect while in the, the muck. Uh, they just can't swing melee weapons. So we're actually going to, I think, fall back a bit. And we'll fight on this ground. So we get the bonus. We'll be on the dry ground. They're going to have to run to us. Yeah, is he... Oh, shit, there's two of them. These guys are... The most dangerous of the bunch. Two, three, two. So these guys are going to come across here and they'll move pretty quickly. So we got to make sure we don't get caught by them. Uh, probably not too difficult, but it is important. Because those guys will wreck me in melee. see there because they can move quickly along the dry ground they're going to move around a little bit before they try to cut through probably but that's okay 
Uh, let's just shoot somebody up. All damage is good damage. Yes, and they can take two steps into here, so. The good news is he will be penalized. Uh, let's try to hit this guy in the face if we're lucky. He's dangerous. So we didn't hit him in the face, but we did hit him. And yeah, I guess. I mean, ultimately, I want to get this guy ideally on dry ground where he can, because he, the pike is my best counter to these guys. He'll do the most damage. Uh, you've got to stand there to have advantage against him. You guys have to keep moving away. You cannot, if you move to there, you're going to get wrecked by that guy. He's going to come out. So I'm going to try to go here, I guess. <clears throat> this guy is my new one. He's going to move up there. You're good. You're good. You've got to come up here. <clears throat> good. Ah, it's not so good. Because... <clears throat> <laughs> well, this might be okay. At least I'll get one swing at this guy, and then the archers can chew into him. Um, that guy will be able to take two steps, but he won't get into melee right away. And we're going to slaughter these lightly armored dudes. Uh, that guy's the most dangerous. I don't know where this guy went. He must have come up and around to here, maybe? Um, which means maybe this guy has to come over there. I'm not quite sure, but... Regardless, this is the priority. We gotta hit that guy. We have to miss that guy. You have axes, which might do more damage to the armor. And this guy has armor. Yep, it smashed up pretty well. That's good. Um, well, let's try to finish him off, I guess. If he's here, he's probably come down here, which would be very bad. If I move over here to protect my archers, he might move to here, which would be bad, but not as bad as threatening my archers. So we'll come over here. There he is. He is in the swamp, though. So that helps a little bit. Um, let's just get out of dodge with you. Uh, 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 let's see if we can kill that guy. Let's see if we can hurt that guy. That was a good hit. That'll help a lot, actually. Um... <laughs> okay, we've got some shenanigans we can actually pull here, I think, that will help. Uh, you can switch with him, and then you can switch with him, and everybody's safe, except for you now. But everybody loves Raymond, I guess. Good... Now, these guys are both in good shape. Maybe you're going to defend because you're one of my new guys, I believe. And let's try to finish that guy off. He's working his way around that flank still. The axe hammer smashed up his shield a bit. Good. Uh, he'll move up here and try to protect from that guy. Won't let him get onto solid ground and help to fight in the swamp. That, oh, okay, that's actually not terrible. Um, <clears throat> he didn't walk up and swing at this guy. He is touching one of my people, but uh, he's still in the swamp, and he's really hurt. And this guy could actually take a clean shot at him. So um, we're going to wait with him. Does he have axes? I don't think he does. No. Probably just shoot at this guy. See if we can do any damage to him. This guy will wait. We'll see if uh, the polearm can finish him. Uh, uh, he'll actually step over. We'll both jump into the swamp and try to fight from in here. 63% is not terrible. My brand new dude just got his first kill. Um, he'll stay here, I think. This polearm can step onto the dry ground and have a bonus or lack of penalty to hit these guys. I'm a little worried about him, but if we can kill everybody else or most people, he might disengage. And it's still going to take him a while to get over here. Uh, you 
also don't have axes, but you can shoot. You're going to step up here and let's try to kill this guy. Double team on him. Perfect. 66% chance to hit is pretty good. Um, oh, he can get up here and he can... Let's not throw the axe. He doesn't have any armor anymore. We'll shoot an arrow. It's a little less accurate, but it doesn't take as much ammunition. Or we'll miss. That works too. All right. So he's going to be in range next turn. However, if I kill both these guys, which I think is very likely. I mean, not very likely, but a distinct possibility. This guy might leave. Uh, he'll wait. Ow. Uh, he's not going to be able to walk and swing, but he'll be prepped for next turn. Let's take some shots at this guy. Uh, you got a hit, brother. All right, that hit at least. That hit, but it's not great. This might finish him if he gets a lucky hit. Dude, you guys have to hit. Let's see. Two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I can't actually get up there. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He could get to there, which would be a problem. I don't think I'm able to kill that guy with one shot, but I stand corrected. <laughs> Um, I mean, look how tired he is. Walking through the swamp is, um, in the game, literally exhausting. Oh, that guy's fucked up. Yeah, yeah, he's... That's good in many ways. I don't have to deal with that guy. And it's over. So... Terrain helped out quite a bit on that one. Um, not looting a location, unfortunately, so the the treasure we get is kind of mediocre, but uh, at least we survived and didn't get roughed up too badly. These barbarian weapons, I think, are worth repairing. Um, they're not incredible. Some There are other weapons that are a little more efficient for money, but I think they're still worth it. Let's take a peek at this place while we're in the neighborhood. How close do you have to get to this place, man? Uh, <clears throat> how close do you have to get to this place? Uh, nope. Yeah, really the geist of the kicking the balls for me on those. Two unholds. I mean... Can I take two unholds? I mean, they're not that bad, are they? <laughs> uh, no. I. Why are they running from me? I mean, I probably could. If I just focused on killing one, the other one would run. I could do it, but I'd get some guys beat up pretty badly, I bet. What do these guys have? This is my kind of ma ma or a money mission. I was my brain was caught there. Following a lockbox is not very much money, though. Pretty garbage pay. Um, and pretty garbage prices. But we've got enough food for three days. We're going to be able to repair everything. So, should be able to at least complete this contract before I have to buy stuff. A few poachers and some raiders should be a nice, easy mission. We should, however, double check our gear here. Pike will be great. Uh, we'll need the bonus to hit the raiders, especially if they have shields. Some of these doodles, however, should probably go with flails if they've got the fatigue. Uh, yeah, this guy's got the fatigue, and he's might as well. This guy does not. He. Let's see. You can go with the flail. You can go with the better sword. There. That looks okay to me. I mean, one of our guys is a little hurt, but I think that's okay. No necromancer. 
and let's take a look at oh, you know these are terrible range support no really dangerous raiders either and we've got some high ground so we're in an excellent position let's come on up here and just take a shot at him I guess uh, okay you guys must stand up there that's fine uh, we do have to make sure this guy doesn't come around to him I mean it's not super dangerous but you can wait you're gonna wait you're gonna have to wait uh, I guess these guys will all come into combat he'll come up here and will be a great counter to him flail him in the head um, I'm actually kind of tempted to run him forward actually we can that's a good target for a flail as well and this guy's already hurt let's see if we can hurt him some more mm, the answer is no this guy has axes which are good at breaking up armor a bit you've already gone that's a good hit with the arming sword mm. let's just go up here that's fine you can take a swing and you can come help out over actually help it over here i want to get that guy's armor i want to do a headshot on that guy and you're gonna wait i think yep all right oh that guy's got axes and shield walling's probably a good move on his part 64 we can wait we got some range stuff we can shoot at that guy um if he wants to Harry and repost. You can just shoot him in the face. Um, speaking of in the face, I can try to get some lucky shots off on him. Nope, they're just body shots, but they still work. Actually, let's just keep shooting him. That was a face shot. And that means actually he can come up and go for a headshot as well. Regular swings. Regular swing. Uh, yeah. Oh! The headshot. It was an accident. It was just a regular attack. Now I'll go for a deliberate headshot and see if I can finish him. Uh, we'll come into here. Catch that poacher. And that looks, this is looking pretty good. He's going to get to go. He'll switch that spear and he might stab a guy once. But it's not going to be enough. And then we'll get to go for headshots. And we have a good chance of getting his armor. So I think we'll not shoot him, even though it's an easy shot. We'll go for this guy instead. That guy might run. I would not blame him. Uh, I wanted to come over and grab him, but I guess I'm not going to get to. No, no, no. I don't think he can get there in time. Yeah, I don't blame it. One, two, three, four. We might be able to catch him for lucky. Headshot. Excellent. Um, can he get away? Probably. Run him down. Mm, can he aim? I can do an aim shot that far. Ah. Is, this is my quick guy. So this is one of the advantages of having at least somebody who's kind of high initiative. You can run people down. So I got the two pieces of armor I was hoping for. These are both pretty nice. These actually, these coifs aren't bad either. Especially for your archers in the back. They don't impede vision. And they do provide a lot better protection than, you know, the padded... Uh, what is that? I want to say coif again. but And then, yeah, these weapons are... Worth a decent amount to sell or use. So, not bad at all. Not bad. And this dude did level up, so he can at least, I guess, try to fulfill some purpose in his short stay with my party, probably. Uh, uh, uh. We want to try to repair some of these things to sell later. Or use, as the case may be. 
We'll get our pitiful pay for this contract. All right. Well, I think we'll call it good there. Uh, as as has been the case in this particular build, this run, um, every time I want to go exploring, uh, it doesn't quite work out. Everything's a little too high a risk for me. We end up falling back on the old ways, just killing wandering bandits and barbarians and taking the occasional contract. Um, I think that's part of the problem with, I mean, there's a reason why the poacher start is not uh, one skull easy. It's two skulls because uh, it's tough to get a, a solid line to support your gunners in the back. Um, this line is kind of stabilizing, but r aside from a few people, it's still kind of just a roadblock to protect the archers instead of contributing a lot to the combat. Which is typically not, even my in my other builds, my dudes in the front are usually still outputting a lot of damage. Um, they're doing okay, but they're not, the, the damage output is skewed right now. But we're making progress. We haven't lost, well, actually we have, how many guys have we lost? I'll say we haven't lost that many people, but we've lost a few. And again, one of them shot by my own men. <laughs> uh... We're getting there. We're getting there. We're leveling up. It's only day 49. We got a ways to go. Um, and adventure awaits and calls to us. Look at all this. So plenty of land for us to explore. We could probably take those guys. Maybe we'll head back down there. I mean, many, bar many berserkers? No, that's too much probably. Anyway, good luck to you in your own adventures. Kill lots of orcs. Kill barbarians. Kill raiders. Kill everything. Even kill some caravans. That's also kind of calling to me there's some some juicy targets i could raid It'd be kind of fun bye for now